Dziękuję bardzo. Serdecznie pozdrawiam z Mazowsza serca Polski. Thank you. I'd like to say hello and of course being rapporteur of this opinion from the Cote Commission which is adopted at the well, which will be adopted at the next meeting uh, next plenary the challenge for public transport in the metropolitan areas and agglomerations but uh, talking about this not just the uh, metropolises but uh, to public transport in general we realize that as far as uh, the uh, uh, greenhouse gases emissions are concerned there's 20% the, these uh, emissions that public transport is responsible for and we have to recognize that from 1990 not much has changed there haven't been major reductions in these uh, gas emissions so if we're talking about the european green deal at the regional and local level the reduction of these emissions and the clean air the activity in the transport sector in order to ensure that we have a clean transport, decarbonized transport and uh, trans clean transport systems both in the cities as in the um, suburbs means a, a matter of great significance and in the Cote Commission of the uh, Committee of the Regions, we're very much committed to achieving reductions in these emissions. And uh, we would like to put forward the following points. Looking at uh, reconstruction programs within Europe, we think means that without any doubt, we have to ensure that we abandon fossil fuels. There, has, there is no future there. We much invest in zero emission new technologies and new fuels and look at uh, renewable sources of uh, energy. And in the, uh, this regard, we're thinking about the challenge that is hydrogen. There's also the matter of the funding for European reconstruction and here we have to ensure that enough funding is made available for clean transport and for services that uh, run on clean fuels not just in the metropolitan areas but in the uh, rural areas as well that nobody be excluded from these major communications so that we do highlight the modern systems with zero emissions in the uh, public sector public transport we could help by transforming the public transport sector to improve our economies and look towards uh, future models of public transport with alternative fuels which would improve the uh, mobility. We should uh, exploit these uh, alternative uh, me methods for getting around and we should aim to improve public transport along these lines that is to say those forms of public transport that do not emit harmful emissions the green deal after the pandemic should allow us to put uh, considerable funding into uh, mobility into public transports to support emission free public transport the structural funds money should be made available for this purpose and we should be able to ensure that we do this within the context of improving the climate and that we have uh, local and regional pro programs for uh, public transport, uh, clean public transport and also the transport of goods in the uh, general transport policy sector, Cotair has been looking at uh, activities at all levels, uh, decentralized uh, levels. So with this multi-level management, we would use 
um, we would gain experience from best practices. We would find uh, green solutions. Uh, we would do this via calls for tender and uh, decentralized uh, actions at uh, the regional and local level and hopefully could hence guarantee a clean form of transport. And also discussions on this with DG MOVE within the European Commission for their uh, local mobility policy and we would be able to hopefully promote uh, these activities on uh, uh, co-financing over the next uh, financial framework period and also talking in terms of an integrated policy which would uh, use Horizon Europe, the CE Connecting Europe facility and others that would help with the local mobility. So we should look at uh, this together with the key stakeholders, uh, the various uh, metropolises, that uh, those that are running these areas and are in charge of uh, public transport policies and other institutions that represent the cities. We should highlight the transport, um, the modern and innovational public transport systems uh, and also for goods to the transport of goods as well. Thank you. Muchas gracias.